Sir Walter Scott Born on August 15, 1771 in Edinburgh, Scotland A Scottish novelist, poet, historian, and biographer and is considered as the father or the creator of the genre historical fiction. How, you may ask? It all started with his grandfather's stories about past Scottish struggle and which got him hooked up to history, poetry, and literacy. This influenced him by using history to write all of his novels. This also led to him digging deeper into ideas as romanticism because of his current bad life. This reflected off all of his works as well as setting the idea of making history interesting with a romantic twist. In 1804, he studied and looked upon Napoleon as he rose to power. His militarical movements led the idea that one can change the world. Sir Walter Scott noted that and used that theme as a motivation to write his novels. Throughout Scott's life, he had many scenarios of confusion and unsteadiness with his love life. This sets the tone in many of his stories, especially in a betrothed and some of his poems which represents the idea that love does not always go the way one wants it to go. This had a bad influence on him since it damaged his self-worthiness and actions in life, which can be slightly hinted through his poems. This led straight to his financial downfall in 1825. This took a major toll of Sir Walter Scott's health and works. His works during and after 1825 were completely rushed and far less innovative than his previous novels. Not only did his economic struggle took down his current trend of works, it put a lot of stress on him, as Scott vowed to pay the debt of his financial downfall. Because of this bad life he had, he felt responsible for all his actions, just like the downfall. That following year, Sir Walter Scott's wife died from an unknown cause that left him into misery and in emotional struggle, his legacy of writing begins to fall apart, which would lead to his death in 1832. Though he had a hard life, Sir Walter Scott was one of the most known authors to restore an older version of text, adding powerful emotions and relatable historical facts, as well as adding a touch of romance. He revised and finished a famous work called Wavery. It was one of the rarest and happiest moments in literacy history because it was the start of what people consider historical fiction.